Hello everyone, Lock Garden Bread Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video and again apologies about my appearance. If you didn't catch the last video, quick rundown. Been working overtime. Don't know when I had the last day off. Been going in early for my shift. Have a couple of hours before my real shift starts. Staying late after my real shift. Again, don't know when I had an off day. No, I need my hair done. We're in a pand pandemic. Not letting anybody touch me or my hair. Not going anywhere. So, yeah, that's the rundown. So, um, and I apologize about the lighting. Um, I can't find my camera hood to kind of block out that little glare there. Can't find my lens hood to kind of block it out there. So, I apologize about the glare. But this video here, I wanted to do a video on transmitting, um, transplanting my milkweed that I did that video on the last time. So, um, I'm going to try to make this video really quick, but you know me, um, I'm a little long-winded. So, I may cut some things out. So, if it seems a little choppy, it's because, you know, I got really talkative and the video became really long. And I ended up having to kind of just chop the video up and make it shorter. And I have this fork because this is what I'm going to use to kind of scoop my milkweed out with. So, let's just jump into it. I like to dump them out any other time, but since I have seeds in here, I'm just gonna scoop it. I need a spoon, but who knows what happened to all my plastic spoons. I don't like to, to disturb the root too much. So I'm gonna try my best to get these out without completely disturbing the root too, too much. All right, so here we are. So I didn't disturb the root too, too much. Still have some still have some nice, beautiful roots intact there. Beautiful roots, beautiful long roots intact. And that's what you want to see. So now what we're going to do, just 
going to separate really slow because you do not want to disturb those roots. Very important. Because milkweed can be kind of finicky when trying to transplant it. I mean, let's get another close up. I mean, come on. Just look at those roots, man. Nice, healthy roots. That's what you always want to see. cars are passing by um, so I have transplanted the milkweed into both containers and I also have uh, replenished the seed in those empty cells I had some seeds left over in my um, water in my paper towel so what I did was I actually threw some seeds out into these containers where I transplanted so if these seeds actually sprout um, I let them actually grow in here and um, probably just transplant them in another container or in the um, boat once I get that one up and going. So I didn't want to just put them back in the refrigerator. So I got this container up and going. And this is where I replenished. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you should be able to see those. Uh, hope you can see. Yeah, I think you can see that. That's where I replenish those empty cells and I threw some water, put some water on there and now you can see that one seed standing up real good now since that water hit it <laughs> and the sun has hit it and it's like, yep, I'm here. See me? I'm the first one here. So it's amazing just how in a few minutes the sun changes, how the seed just, I just, I just love it. I love it. And here's that other container here. Uh, I'm trying not to block out the sun, but y'all, I'm so tired. I got to sit down. But here's the other container that I did. So I did notice that I do have two different types of milkweed. In this bed here, I have just the one type. And I believe this here is the same as in that bed there, which is the butterfly weed and which is native to is one of the Georgia native milkweeds, so that's fine. So those leaves look almost identical. So I'm pretty sure that is um, butterfly weed. I labeled the seeds. Sorry about the wind. I labeled the seeds when I um, saved the seeds. So I labeled them then, but when I stratified them in the refrigerator, I didn't label them when I stratified them in the refrigerator. So I'm almost sure looking at the leaves, those are, these are, all this is butterfly weed. Pretty sure about that. But when I come over to this bed here, as you can see, these leaves here are completely different. They are a lot thinner. So I believe this here is going to be tropical milkweed just by looking at how thin these leaves are as opposed to these leaves over here which is the butterfly weed so with the tropical milkweed it is not late native to Georgia so what I do um, every year is because the tropical milkweed I would do a separate video more information on why this should it be grown in areas where it's not native but it it can actually harm the monarch butterfly so you can do more harm to the butterfly than good by growing it in non-native areas so i cut it back in um july or august so i'm just gonna cut this back to be on the safe side I'm almost sure looking at the leaves that this is um um tropical milkweed so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut it back in July or August to not to confuse the monarch butterfly. And um, the smaller ones here, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure it's still butterfly weed. It's, it's a little small, 
but um, I'm almost sure it's butterfly weed. It looks a lot like the butterfly weed, but it's still small and the leaves are short and stubby. But I think it's just because it ha it's just smaller. But um, everything else, that all the other milkweeds that I have, it is native to um, Georgia, so I'm not worried about it. But just these leaves here, just looking at the two, I hope you can see the difference. Let me zoom out so you can see them closer together how thin and narrow those leaves are and how short and a little wider those leaves are that I'm almost sure is tropical milkweed it should not be grown in non-native areas and I do a separate video on that but I'm just gonna cut it back um, just wanted to point that out all right everyone so thank you so much for watching and again I apologize for the length of the video I try to be as short as possible but like I said I have a wealth of information I just love sharing it I love nature I love butterflies I love flowers I just love educating people on what I know and sharing my knowledge but um thank you so much again for watching and it's time for me to go shower and try to get to work I am gonna try to edit this on my break um I do have more overtime to do today so um I'm gonna try to get this out to you guys today and um, I don't know when I'm gonna have an off day, so I'm gonna try between breaks and and overtime and working in the garden and praying and reading my Bible and doing those things of that sort. I am definitely going to try to get this video out to you guys, and I just want to thank you so much for watching and taking the time and stay safe out there, you and your families. And as usual, to the loo. Bye bye.